a lot of times we feel like if we're being vulnerable, it's like we're putting ourselves on the line to be rejected. When in reality, we're actually sharing something that we had kept hidden so that more of us can be seen. And then more of us have the potential to be loved. Hi, I'm Adriel, creator of the Herpes Opportunity, which is all about positively shifting your mindset, disclosing to potential partners in a way that truly connects you, and ultimately finding the love that you want and deserve. Now you can check out the free ebook linked in the description below about having the talk. And now onto the video. I hope you enjoy it. The the thing that that kind of if if someone is going to have a problem with with herpes, that what that brings to the forefront is just a a sense of how we might be in relationship around other difficulties that might come up, right? Other things that might be uncomfortable to talk about, awkward, do we sweep it under the rug or do we like nip it in the bud and talk about it? Like, let's, let's talk, right? It's not saying that like people who, you know, are a no or, you know, reject about herpes are like bad people or less self-aware or anything like that. It's just that, that it might point to something around when push comes to shove, like what kind of relationship are we going to have? And that's why like when you, when you reach that point where there's the, where you are laissez faire about like not gripping too hard when you're disclosing of like, I really want this. It's this, you're holding both. You're like, yeah, I have a preference here. I would like this to happen. And that's the vulnerability piece, right? Because you're like, I'm putting my heart on the line. Even though I'm, I'm not in love yet or whatever. It's like, eh, it's starting, my heart's starting to open. I'm putting it out there. And when you can see that for what it is of our, like the, the dynamic between the two of you is such that the, the one who's ready for a deep relationship is going to see the vulnerability and not see the herpes, if that makes sense. He's going to see that there's so much more to this. Wow, like this woman just shared her heart with me and I can see her trembling. I can see that this is hard for her. And yes, there's like this little grain of this thing called herpes that has shame around it. And okay, we can talk about that. But wow, you had the courage to like share something that was really hard with me. I see you. Wow. Thank you. That's, that is a soul turn on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And you've probably had that experience yourself in whether it be friendships or past relationships where they're vulnerable with you in some way. And it's just like, Oh my gosh, this, th this changes everything. Like, like you're revealing more to me because through your vulnerability and I get to see that a lot of times we feel like if we're being vulnerable, it's like we're putting ourselves on the line to be rejected. When in reality, we're actually sharing something that we had kept hidden so that more of us can be seen and then more of us have the potential to be loved. But we have it that like, no, I'm going to keep this to the side because the potential of this part of me being loved is very small. So I'm going to set it to, to the side and not reveal it maybe until much later on, you know? Well, I hope you got a lot out of that video. And if you did, please let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and keep an eye out for more videos just like this.